So today we're gonna go over High Level's new release for creating and updating opportunities. A lot of confusion out there right now on this, and this one is gonna be kind of a companion to the previous video that I did on opportunities and pipelines, because there is a little bit of a different way that you're gonna create opportunities inside of automations. Now, the actual pipelines and stages hasn't changed, but what has changed is the actual way that you create automations for it. So today we're gonna review it. So stay tuned and build along with us. So a little bit of confusion, if you watch my previous video of opportunities of 2025 and pipelines, the pipeline stages, meaning what they are and how they work still stays the same. The only thing that's honestly gonna change is the fact that we have to create opportunities and pipelines different inside of the automations. So for anybody that wants a little review, what is a pipeline, what is opportunities? First of all, they're interchangeable. Opportunities and pipelines are visual representation of basically people going through your customer journey, meaning when they become a new lead to when they've actually responded to when the lead's been dead for three days, when the appointment's been booked and so forth and so on. Honestly, whatever you want to put in here. And you create these pipelines and opportunities by going to pipelines and creating a new pipeline and doing whatever you want. Now, I have this on the other video, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it. What I am going to spend time in is the new way of doing these pipelines and opportunities when it comes to automations. So I'm going to go to automations and I'm going to create a little bit of, oh, well, we already have a folder, so let's just use the folder. Now, make believe I have a new lead coming in, right? So we're going to do a couple. I have a create a new workflow. I'm going to do start from scratch. And what I'm going to do is when somebody fills out a form, I'm going to create a new lead here. And somebody submits a form on our website, right? We really don't care which one is. We're going to do the form submitted and I'm going to do the form is, you know, whatever, contract or website form, okay? When they fill out that form, I want to give them a tag and then I want to move them into a pipeline for my new leads that I can track where this person is visually inside the opportunity in the pipelines. So I'm going to come over here and I'm first going to add that tag, like I mentioned, right? This is the normal way of doing automations. And in here, I'm just going to put the first one I see, which is 10K list, right? I add the new tag, but then what I need to do is I'm going to use the find, update, and create opportunities based on that. Now, the the way they changed it, if I come in here and I go to opportunities, all right, you're going to notice that a lot of them, this is what they have. They have a lot of these betas. The ones we're going to focus on right here is the beta ones, which is find, create, and update. Now, when we hit the find, it's going to try to look for, to see if the person's been there already. Meaning if this person was already like, you know, a client and you created a new lead magnet or you created a new website and they came in again, the first thing you would always want to do is try to find this opportunity first to ensure that you're not creating the same person twice inside your opportunity. So if I hit find opportunity, what it's going to do is it's going to try to find the opportunity, the mostly recently created opportunity for this person that fills out a form. Now, the way it'll search the person is, it's gonna automatically have an email and a phone number, and it's gonna try to see if there's an email that's matching a phone number and an email, right? Inside the actual account. Then what I tend to do when I try to find the opportunity is I hit select, and I look in the pipeline that I wanna check to see if this person was already in there. This one would be the lead management because this is going to be a brand new lead. And I want to check to verify that this person's not a lead already in my system. So I'm going to hit save action. Now, notice the second I try to find an opportunity inside that pipeline, it's going to ask me, okay, was the opportunity found or was the opportunity not found? Now, if the opportunity was found, awesome. What I want to do is update this opportunity or maybe I don't, right? But if I wanted to update the opportunity, I would come in here and allow this opportunity to move into the previous stage of the pipeline. I would hit yes if I wanted to move it back. Now, if they're already far down the pipeline and I don't want to create a duplicate pipeline, I would just honestly leave this in here. And if the opportunity is found, I would just go ahead and email the client, give them whatever guide that they had, you know, something like this, you know, write an email, write a text message, whatever else. And I would just do that. If the opportunity was found, but they're going through the process again, and I want to watch them go through the process again, what I would do is hit the opportunity area right here, hit the update, or just type it in, go to update opportunity. And then I'm going to allow this to move to any previous stage of the pipeline, meaning I'm going to allow it to move it back. Now, maybe he's in the pipeline that he's in. It's going to be this lead management. And what I want to do is I want to move him to the stage of new lead because this person, again, filled out a form. Maybe he didn't complete the entire purchase. Who knows? But regardless of which, I want to put it to a new lead. Then if I want to modify the name of the opportunity, I usually use custom value. So I use a little tag in here. And then what it's going to do is pull in the stuff it pulled in from the actual form. So if I collected the name, I usually do name, a little dash, and then I select that again and I do phone. And then I hit save action. Okay. 
Okay, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here, but more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with a group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with any Anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. Now, if the person was not created and was not found, I want to create an opportunity. So I'm going to hit create an opportunity. The second one that says beta now, as you can notice, if I type in create, you're going to notice create opportunity and create update opportunity. This is the legacy one that's going to go away. This is the new one that's there. So I'm going to hit create opportunity. And again, in here, what I'm going to do is opportunity name. Oh, let's, I'm sorry about that. Pipeline is lead management. Pipeline stage is going to be new lead. Pipeline opportunity name is going to be the contact name like before, then contact phone number. All right, add field. I'm always gonna do opportunity source and I can do contact source in here and I can also add a little dash in here and I'll put in like, you know, contractor form or something like that, whatever it is, right? contractor form. All right, and then if I have a value, I can go ahead and add the value directly in here. Maybe this potential value is worth like 47 bucks, who knows? Or you can leave it blank and not have anything on there. Now, the second I create the opportunity, I still want them having an experience. Now that experience could be the same thing that this person get because maybe this person gets an email, an SMS letting them know that we got the lead. So I'm going to type in the SMS. Again, I would put any random message in there and then I would have in there. So I would go, go to, and then what I'm going to do is if I wanted to have the same experience as the person that I update, I use the go to here. And then I just continue the journey from where, you know, besides updating the opportunity. All right, so let's just talk about what we did. The first thing we did, regardless if it was a new lead, is try to find the opportunity inside this pipeline. Because what I don't want to do is have basically two opportunities listing. Now, if I know for a fact that this is always going to be a brand new lead because there's only one way to come into my system and it's through here, then what I can do is, is just instead of creating this find opportunity, I would ignore it or delete it, right? And I would just come in here and do create opportunity and in here I would do the same thing except I don't need to have the find opportunity because I know that the only way the person was going to come in is through only this lead channel. The only reason we use the find opportunity is what if I have like a Facebook ad going in there, a Google ad, several organic different lead magnets and I want to make sure that you know it's getting the credit or whatever else. That's the time that you would use the find opportunity. If I only have this form and only this form coming in where new leads are going to pop in here then I would use this create opportunity instead. And I would do the same way. Pipeline opportunity name. We're going to use contact full name, a little dash, and then contact phone. All right. Then add a field, go to the stage, a new lead because this person's going to be a new lead. And then come in here, go to the status. Maybe, um, well, not status is open. And again, that just means that it's still operating and going through. And then the opportunity source, I would just leave it as a contact source. And then I would do the same thing. Email, you know, send email. Just gonna put a quick little subject line in here, all right? And then SMS, same thing. All right, and now there you go. Now I have it and I'm creating the opportunity directly in here. So that's one way to look at it, right? What if it's now when somebody moves over from one stage to the other? So let's delete these actions, right? And let's make believe somebody booked an appointment, right? So instead of form submitted, they book an appointment, which is a different stage, appointment, status, Status is confirmed. All right. And now, you know, I'm going to lose all this. And now I wanted to update the opportunity because they've made an appointment, right? That's this different stage in my pipeline. Because if I have a new lead and all of a sudden he books an appointment, awesome. That means he's now a client. So what I would do is in this case, find opportunity, right? Because he should be already in here. And I would look at in the pipeline is new leads, right? Lead management, the one that we had. And if I find the opportunity, I come in here and I update the opportunity. So again, I type in the word update. Come in here, update opportunity, allow, if they were in any other stage, I want to move them in there. So I'll throw that on. If not, and if this is progressive, meaning they can only move forward in your pipeline, they can't ever move back. You know, you could do that also, just be aware. I have duplicate opportunity disabled. I don't want any of that to happen. So then I'm going to do the opportunity, well, the pipeline, 
leads management, the pipeline now stage is appointment booked. And I come in here and the status is still open. And I don't have to add the name or anything else because it's already got it. The only thing that I wanted to do is basically move the opportunity to the current stage that it's in. So I hit save action. Now, if the opportunity was now found, I want to create the opportunity because I want to measure. And maybe this person put in a different email address, who knows? But if they did do that, you still want to count for it. So I'm going to create the opportunity. And again, it's already got the pipeline that I'm interested in. I'm going to go to a opportunity name and contact full name, a little dash, contact phone number, and you can put whatever you want in here. I'm just telling you the way I do it. Then you're gonna put pipeline stage. This is gonna be appointment booked. And the status is open still because we haven't closed the client yet. An opportunity source can be calendar. Because if you're creating it, then you know that this is gonna be brand new and something missed, right? And then again, same thing. If I wanna come over here, I hit the go to. Well, actually I can't do the go to because I don't have an action on the other side. So I'm just gonna hit save real quick. Now here, it'll be the same thing. It'll be maybe wait 24 hours or send the confirmation email, right? Or the confirmation text. So email, send email, confirmed. You know, this will be appointment confirmation if you're doing them through here, right? Not gonna get into writing emails, you guys get it. And then SMS, confirmed. Because regardless if they're a brand new opportunity or they're existing, they're gonna still get the same reminders. And this is like wait, event wait is gonna be, you know, before one day. And you would just go down the whole appointment reminder sequence like we've done before, right? So email will be one day email. Okay. And here you would go, go to. Boom. And then they would go through the same thing as like you would with everything else, right? So the find opportunity is a great case of why you would do it that way. Because again, you would want to make sure you don't have multiple contacts. And again, you don't have to update as much as before. The reason they did this is because what was happening is it was creating all kinds of issues inside the pipeline. And now you can leverage and do this. Now, the other cool thing that is come out, if you go to opportunities, right? You're going to notice add owner to opportunity, remove owner, add followers to opportunity, remove followers. Now, if you are running a big organization, right? And let's make believe I want to add somebody else to this card that they can follow it i would add uh, followers to this opportunity and i would select like mary t and i can add a follower to this opportunity regardless of the stage or i could do it right as a secondary stage move action and i could drop it right in here right after the go to all right if i wanted to remove opportunities because they're entering a different stage and they don't need all these followers i can do now the same thing same thing with changing of owners as they move from one pipeline to the next so kind of brand new pretty cool but just know that those exist and they kind of go along with the same kind of strategies of like moving and assigning people to different pipeline stages depending on the pipeline stage that they're in but here you go lo and behold it's right there for you so that's pretty much it a lot of confusion out there and people were struggling a little bit with it but i hope this made some sense to you guys and we'll see you in the next one.